governor, uh, uh, Barry Crown, he stands up to address the crowd. Quiet! Quiet and calm! All of you, calm! Is it not clear what has happened? But the heathens that choose not to follow the light, that live outside the city, have chosen to destroy our effigy in their hatred for our good and pure way of life. And the people start to murmur amongst themselves. Yeah, I think he's right. I think he's right. Yeah, it's got to be them. It's got to be them. The, the sentiment of the crowd begins to solidify. I say we protect the women and children by securing them indoors. And all able-bodied men meet back here, fully equipped to go finally rid, rid our fair city of, of this trash. That thinks that they don't have to, to, to toe the line and, and, and help out with the community. And they can just live off of our garbage right outside the city. Uh, I, 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 if I could interject here. I don't mean to sound rude. So if this comes off a little aggro, I'm sorry. This you is going to go well I can see it. <laughs> but you're sounding little culty and that's uh, kind of a red flag for me so you might want to roll it back a little Baba Franco slowly walks up Elemenos, I, I, I see your concern, but we are peaceful people and we are being persecuted by these these, these, these angry these angry, angry people filled with hate for our way of life Okay. They've just destroyed our God. Holding the up. The physical representation of the light on this planet. Holding the, the, up the, Roscoe's uh, unconscious body, I say, Please, has anyone invented CPR? <laughs> Shump. Elementos. Drew, do you not see that, that our enemy is your enemy? I'm doing Your friend. <laughs> oh, that's right. Can I, uh, Where is Drew? <laughs> listen. Hold that thought. I'm going to run over to Shump and Roscoe. I'm going to cast my healing word on them. What is the word that you use to heal, by the way? Oh, it's Balderdash? Got it. It's the governor, three. Governor Crown, addresses the crowd again. Yes, these were our guests and our friends, and they entertained us well, but they know not of the politics of this region, and they are neither friend nor foe. Please ignore them. You, we must, we must come, we must rally in defense of our city here, of our way of life. Hey, I'm back. Again, slightly culty. Um, don't mean to come off rude, but if you maybe would hold off on like rallying the troops and you know rousing the rebels for a second, we could try some diplomacy. Let me and my buddies go to Shanty Town over there and check things out. When the boys are back in town, we'll, we'll then then you know then we can talk and see if you guys still wanna raise an army. But let's just tone it down a scotch. Hearing that, Shump's gonna mentally file away like to write a song with the hook. The boys are back in town. <laughs> he's not gonna say anything because yeah. he at least recognizes that it's the wrong time. Well, we're we're a famous band now, so you should yeah. be like. Mm -hmm. Always in the back of your mind, that creative yeah, it was just like, thought oh, should be steaming. Yeah, I can use that, yeah. but no, now's not the time. Okay. The governor interrupts Elemenos's plea for for calm and caution, addressing the the rest of the audience. No, we must think of the children and the women and the future of our way of I life. I grab him by the neck and I pull him in close to me so I can smell his breath. What does his breath smell like? Carrots. Carrots. I say, whiskey. My God, you smell like carrots. I love carrots. His face is red <laughs> with anger and mild embarrassment. And I say, I'm sorry. And sexual Listen, frustration. I can see that. Um, and I take note of it for later. And then I turn to the camera and I go, wink. <laughs> it's at this point. And then I say uh, to him, Listen, you. You are starting a war. You need to turn it down. And let me say, 
that in this light, your eyes are gorgeous. And then I guess I lean in for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and you're denied. Okay. So, but meanwhile, Drew is relentlessly pursuing this, this, uh, this guy. I wanted to talk to this guy and be like, hey, that short little dude that you just saw, like he ran and I said, get him. And you looked and you're like, what, me? And I was like, yeah, you. And you just right. like, let him go. So as you come to confront him, he actually retreats into the tent, but outstep a whole group of sh- kind of shabbily dressed, but kind of formidably armed people. Thank <laughs> you.